Hello, Brittany here with day 62 of our 67 days towards our own at-home practice um, and another our last wonderful day exploring yin yoga, holding postures a little bit longer, spending time watching ourselves internally and getting to know ourselves internally and not just getting our actions out via our movement which will be the next five days, our last five days. We'll be get really getting uh, for focusing on the yang side of life, working with our movements, and starting our new year off active and engaged. So I'm really excited. Today's going to be a good day. Let's get started. Sliding the palms into the body. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. As we inhale, filling the belly up with air like a big old balloon. And as we exhale, letting it all go. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Bring our hands together at heart center and setting an intention for our practice. Today, yet again, I offer you Ijvara Pranidana and honoring our practice um, by being here and having faith that everything else in our life is working out. Um, maybe not the way we want, but the way that is most advantageous to the universe and the world around us, having that hope within us. If that's a nourishing intention, if not setting any other intention, that'll keep your mind on your mat. Grounding the palms, sliding them back into the body, nine deep ujjayi breaths. Finding our yogi mind in the beginning of our practice. Two more. And then starting our practice out, both feet out in front of us, going into our forward fold. Starting off, just pressing through the fingers, straightening the spine, elbows into the side, hips forward, pressing through the palms, lengthening the spine, inhaling the arms up, lifting the chest, exhaling, Folding forward. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Finding a place that keeps the body off of the mind and resting here. Allowing your body to fold into itself. I haven't done a lot, wild amount of yoga in the past couple days, being Christmas time in real time. So my body doesn't want to fold so much. That's okay. Breathing into it being exactly where we're at and allowing our breath to build that lean elasticity in our body to help us find the length in our muscles. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Ujjayi, lots of thoughts are on the mind. Nine more here. We spend a bit more time in our forward folds because the hamstrings require a lot more breath and oxygen to find release because they really store a lot of our tension. Even though we're contracted over, inhale, filling up our belly. Exhale, letting it all go. Inhale, letting go of the abdomen. Exhale, gently engaging it just at the end to extinguish the last of our breath. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Just two more. Just 
Gently sliding up the body, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. We are going to go into first our um, cow face pose, taking our right ankle to the left side, our left ankle to the right side, our left arm up, right arm back, using a strap if we need it, and helping to build elasticity in the outside of our hips, bringing the inside together, and then working with a different variation of our lizard today that's going to be the yin variation um, that helps us find a little bit more flexibility on the, the opposite side, the complementing side of our hips. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Just seven more. Finding our calm, finding our center, and doing our best to be here now. Just four more. Gently releasing hands to the hips, switching sides. Left foot underneath, left knee underneath, right foot to the left ankle. If it doesn't reach, that's fine. Just gently putting it to the side, being at finding the place that nourishes us best today. Switching arms, deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Just seven more. Finding our calm. Finding our center. Using our ujjayi breath if we need some extra peace and calm. Just four more. Sitting up nice and tall. Strong, confident posture. Releasing the hands to the hips. Gently coming out of this posture and going into our low lunge. I'll start off on my left side. You can do whatever nourishes you most right now. And we are going to do our lizard yin style, which means you slide on the side of your foot, lifting your arm up towards the sky. I'll move a little bit out so you can see a little bit clearer. And we're just really lifting that chest, keeping the hand just kind of like a side plank where the hand is right underneath the shoulder. Staying here, and this is going to gently help open up our hips in a very light and intrusive way, I mean non-intrusive way. We're really extending our entire side. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Seven more just like this. Gently gripping the ground or our mat with our hand, taking tension off the wrist, not overextending our elbow, gently bending it. Just four more. Coming back into the body, into our lunge, and switching sides. Right foot forward, coming onto the side of our foot, ignoring my ugly toes. Oh. Our left hand right underneath our shoulder, whatever is the opposite hand. Reaching our arm up, finding our comfort, deep breaths in, complete breaths out. If you want to come off the back of your knee like I am, you can feel free, whatever's nourishing you most. It's not as yin of us to come off the back of our knee, um, but for this side, I have some sciatic nerve issues, so it helps set me into place and take some of my discomfort away. Deep breaths in, 
complete breaths out. Four more. Gently coming back into the body, into our lunge, and coming onto our feet. Today we're going to do a nice light balance again with our tree pose. Coming up onto our feet, finding our point of focus, we're going to do two rounds of our tree, holding the pose for nine breaths, really using today to explore our yin on our last day. We are not, I'm not gonna be talking to you much during this. I'm going to be focused just as much on my drishti as you should be on yours. Finding your point of focus, three nice deep breaths into it. And when we're ready and only when we're ready, arms come up, our left heel comes up. One more deep breath into our point of focus, finding the center of our feet. Gentle knees, centered hips, centered shoulders. <sighs> Lifting our knee, finding our balance. Coming into our tree, nine deep breaths. Kind of hard in this wind. Arms nice and wide. Our knee comes forward. We gracefully come down. Right heel off the mat. Arms wide. Gentle left knee. Lifting our right. Breathing into our point of focus. Coming into our tree. Nine deep breaths. lesson for our focus a beautiful I'm staying at a rooftop next door and a beautiful bird came up as soon as I decided to lose my focus for that bird I lost my balance so it happens to us all we lose our focus it makes it nice and easy to lose our balance it's natural not necessarily bad just part of the journey one more round two more rounds well one more round on each side two more trees Coming back up, finding our focus, lifting our left heel, spreading our right toes, gentle knee, centered hips, centered shoulders, lifting our knee, coming into our tree, deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Eight more, keeping our focus, keeping our calm. Arms come wide, knee comes forward, gracefully come down, our other side, right heel up, spreading the left toes, planting in, Finding our focus, lifting our knee, coming into our tree, nine deep breaths. Um, 
it's funny, I just, sometimes when I'm in these postures, I, I think of the things I want to do with y'all, um, and I want to extend a week past, um, past our 67 days for all of those continuing the videos, just helping you understand um, the structure of this program and how, um, how I structured it to help you build your practice and making it dynamic and various, like this practice today, um, being able to focus on the different things that we need. I rooted the hip shot, the hips in today because our Christmas time, our holiday time where this is airing live is a big time where we store all our work through a lot of our root chakra issues. So spending a little bit of time there may have helped you feel a little bit of a release from the holidays. I hope it did at least. Um, I'm talking a bit more about that and helping you continue your practice and build your own practice in a way where you feel like you have control and you know how to use everything from this program um, to be your best self or the best self that you desire. So let's go into our Savasana, feet out in front of us, hands on our knees, sitting up tall, belly into the back, chin into the chest, coming onto the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Hands to the side, releasing tension from our toes, from our soles, our ankles, our shins and our calves, our knees and our thighs, fronts and backs, our hips, belly and back, our chest and our shoulders, our neck, our biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists and fingers, grounding the palms as many thoughts are on the mind. Bring the attention back to our neck, rocking it side to side, resting in the center for the next one minute. We have nowhere to go, nowhere to be, but right here and right now. Listening only to the sounds, feeling only the sensations in our immediate present. Our sole responsibility is to be here now. When we're ready and only when we're ready, gently rubbing the fingers and the toes amongst one another, bringing attention back to the body. One knee into the chest at a time, rocking to our right side, into our sleeping baby, preparing our body for motion. Taking a nice deep breath, pressing through the ground, Coming to our seat, hands at heart center, reflecting in the intention we set in the beginning of our practice. Only moments in which we met it, ending our practice, bowing to one another, to our beautiful bodies, and honoring the light within one another, which is the same. Namaste. Bye, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Our last day of our program hosted in San Diego, um, ending the year back at home. I love you all and I'm so thankful that you are taking this yoga journey with me and exploring your inner self. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.